Let's get you up to speed now on what's making headlines on Today in AZ. First up, Americans will pay their respects to former President George H.W. Bush. He will lie in state at the nation's capital today. The 41st president died Friday at the age of 94. We're going to have much more, including funeral plans and what happens to his faithful dog. That's coming up in just a few minutes. People paying their respects to an Arizona trailblazer. Arizona's first Mexican-American congressman, Ed Pastor, lied in state at the Capitol yesterday. His family held a private open casket service before allowing the public to pay their last respects. Pastor died Tuesday at the age of 75. He served, wow, this is almost unbelievable, for 40 years in the United States Congress as a member. And also he was a member of the Board of Supervisors for Maricopa County. A man is in extremely critical condition after crashing his truck into a house. This happened last night right near 11th Avenue and Indian School Road over in Phoenix. Luckily, no one <coughs> inside the house was hurt. No word yet on what could have caused this crash, but we'll keep you posted. Buckeye police are asking for help identifying the suspect in a two-year-old cold case. Investigators say this man, I know it's hard to see, but they just need some help. He's seen walking with a gray shirt, backpack, He's accused of attacking a victim with a customized set of brass knuckles with attached blades. Police believe the attack may have been random. Anyone with information should call 480 witness. Winter has officially arrived in the high country. Starting today, State Route 67 between Jacob Lake and the north rim of the Grand Canyon National Park is closed for the winter. It's expected to reopen in the spring, usually around mid-May. US 89 will remain open during the winter.